Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on forests, parks, and the wilderness. All right, here's a little introduction on forests. It might seem obvious, but humankind has always been closely linked with forests. If you consider uh, where we came from, that we are primates, uh, and that our ancestors were arboreal, there, there's that. Uh, and I know that we are bipedal, we are dependent on walking on the ground at this point, but we've always depended on forests for either shelter, um, food source, making weapons, uh, and, and we're talking tens of thousands of years, even going farther back than that. So uh, even before agriculture and the formation of cities and so on, we've been inter intertwined with forests in terms of our natural history. So this brings us to silviculture. So silviculture is the term for professionally growing trees um, for our needs, whatever those might be. Uh, when I say that they, it originated in the United States at Yale uh, in the early 1900s, what I mean is uh, before that, before the early 1900s, the turn of the century, yes, trees were grown for a purpose. However, in terms of it being a professional pursuit where you can go and get properly educated and, and sort of certified as this is something you're really good at, uh, that really first popped up around the year 1900 at Yale. And since then, it's, it's definitely uh, gained prominence. Um, and we'll get into how like uh, silviculture perspective can be you know, something that you can argue with other people based on what school you come from or based on uh, what you're looking to get out of forests. More on that later on in the lesson. So the conflict on forests in terms of what we do with them, how we maintain them, there's a lot to consider. First of all, should they just serve us? Is it just about utilizing forests for our own needs as a human society and human culture? Um, do forests have a right to exist in themselves? Uh, so how much of them should we use? We need to consider uh, TIMOs. So TIMOs stands for Timber Investment Management Oops. Organizations. Oops. Let's just say orgs. Yeah, so Timber Investment Management Organizations. Um, in short, their whole point of existing is to get what they can out of a forest. Um, really, uh, it's, it's financial uh, in terms of their purpose. Um, so a Timo is probably not going to be as concerned with preserving a forest just in itself as being a good thing in terms of aesthetics or in terms of uh, preserving biodiversity. They have a financial interest. And uh, the hope is that they would not be completely selfish and try to have um, some kind of um, point of view in, in, in the sense that it's not just driven by capitalism, but uh, capitalism is, is really their, their, uh, their end. Can a forest serve us and be there for nature's sake? Can we get both out of it? I don't have all the answers to that, but it's something that we can consider in this lesson. Is it sustainable for both? Uh, can we have a forest continually over time serve us and at the same time also have uh, parts of it or a majority of it just be there for nature's sake, apart from uh, human greed or human needs? And how are forests related to the climate? It's pretty easy to tell that forests do relate to the climate in terms of you know, if we lose them all, we're going to have a problem and uh, having more trees seems to be a good thing. But how much so? How much do they impact the climate? So when we chop down 100 million hectares of forest, what is actually the result uh, in terms of the effect on, on the global climate? 